Hey, what's up, guys? This is Alex, your Toxic Danny Coach. Um, and so today we're going to be reviewing um, the art of seduction. Um, this is part of my Robert Greene book club. This is going to be the last time I'm going to, might be, might be the last time I'm going to post a free video because this is usually in the, in the Robert Greene book club, specifically for the Robert Greene book club. So if you guys want to join, click on the description down below where it says join the book club. And um, yeah, let's watch this. This is about proving yourself. This is actually, this will solidify the seduction. This will, if he has any doubt about whether or not you love him, this will show it, and this will this will completely disarm any defense this guy has in terms of getting close to you. Proving yourself is a vital part in seduction. Let's watch it. I'm gonna give you guys my take. Prove yourself. Sixteen. Prove yourself. Anyone can talk big, say lofty things about their feelings, insist on how much they care for us, and also for all oppressed peoples in the far reaches of the planet. I don't pay attention to anything that anybody tells me in terms of how much they care for me. I've gotten to the point where I just look at actions. Words don't ma matter much to me. What matters more is to me your tone of voice, how you're talking compared to what you're really saying, and what you really do. That's what matters for me and also for all oppressed peoples in the far reaches of the planet. But if they never behave in a way that will back up their words, we begin to doubt their sincerity. Perhaps we're dealing with a charlatan or a hypocrite or a coward. Flattery and fine words can only go so far. A time will eventually arrive when you will have to show your victim some evidence to match your words with deeds. Because it's, it's almost like if you, if somebody says they have your back, but then when you need their help, maybe you need some money to help you out. Maybe they say, we, I believe in you as a person and they have money and then you ask for money, but then when you ask for money, they don't do it. It kind of shows you what they really feel about you. Or a guy who tells you he likes you, but then disappears on you three days in a row, doesn't text you and then he comes back and says, I miss you. His actions say more. Focus more on what people do than on what people say because it says everything about them. This kind of... Remember, patterns speak the truth, like Derek Jackson says. So far, a time will eventually arrive when you will have to show your victim some evidence to match your words with deeds. This kind of evidence has two functions. First... It allays any lingering doubts about you. Second, an action that reveals some positive quality in you is immensely seductive in and of itself. It, 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 and the reason why is because, one, everybody is doubting whether or not the person who they're talking to really likes them, to a certain degree. And because of that thought, they don't let, they don't let go emotionally. They don't open up. Right. When you're at this stage of the seduction, you already had to go through a few an up and a down. In other words, things were well, things were well. You pulled away. He's fear. He's afraid of losing you. He's afraid of losing you because you're pulling away. Right. And then you prove yourself and that will tighten the bond. Brave or selfless deeds create a powerful and positive emotional reaction. Don't worry. Your deeds don't have to be so brave and selfless that you lose everything in the process. The you can make it up. It could be that they need your help. They need you to pick up. They need to pick you up. Like, let's just say you, you're doing a favor for them. Make it look like it was harder than it really was. You know, make it look like you struggled to really do it. Make it look like you worked harder than you really did, even though it was easy. Why? Because it says... First of all, it flatters them. It flatters their ego and says, wow, he did that for me. But also it shows them that you're willing to sacrifice yourself for them. And when it comes to somebody who is at the border of falling in love with you and you do this, they will fall for you. Appearance alone of nobility will often suffice. In fact, in a world where people overanalyze and talk too much, any kind of action has a bracing, seductive effect. It is normal in the course of a seduction to encounter resistance. The more obstacles you overcome, of course, the greater the pleasure that awaits you. Why? Because 
when you when you struggle for something, it produces cortisol, which will produ- which will which, which will also give you more energy through the through dopamine to get what you want. When you struggle to get something, it, when you want once you get it, it releases more dopamine because you you actually you were thinking about it. You know, it was a fantasy in your head, and once you, and, and the more you, and the more prolonged it is the more satisfactory it is. That's why there's a difference between meeting people on Tinder than meeting people in real life. You get down to the business on Tinder quicker than when you meet them at your job or at school because they slow it down more because they don't want you to think. Women slow it down more because they don't want to be seen as too desperate. You know what I'm saying? Which is good. But also what it does is that it makes it even more pleasurable. I can say it with me. When I meet a woman on Tinder, Versus when I meet a woman in real life, it's more satisfaction when I meet the woman in real life, because it feels like I worked for it more. You know what I'm saying? It is normal in the course of a seduction to encounter resistance. The more obstacles you overcome, of course, the greater the pleasure that awaits you. But many a seduction fails because the seducer does not correctly read the resistances of the target. More okay, let's see what he has to say. Often than not. You give up too easily. First, understand a primary law of seduction. Resistance is a sign that the other person's emotions are engaged in the process. The only person you can't seduce is somebody distant and cold. Resistance is emotional and can be transformed into its opposite, much as in jujitsu, the physical resistance of an opponent can be used to make him fall. If people resist you because they don't trust you, an apparently selfless deed showing how far you are willing to go to prove yourself is a powerful remedy. Yeah, it's almost like if a woman thinks I'm a player, right? It could mean that I prove myself by me saying, if you ever need some help, I'm there for you. And she says, hey, can you pick me up in the hospital or can you pick up my kid, whatever? You do it instantly knowing that if you do that, you've proven you to her that you actually kept your words, right? Um, it could be like any moment of crisis, you got to be ready for any moment of crisis because that's your time to shine when there's a moment of crisis. I remember one time this happened to me when I thought I had cancer. <laughs> like last year, last year I thought I had everything, man. Like <laughs> I missed on all of them, but I thought I had everything, right? Anyways, I went to the doctor. I was like, yo, man, I can't believe this. I thought I had cancer. I'm not going to lie. Like, I was, um, I was pretty fucking wrecked. Um, I was like, this is bullshit. This is some bullshit. Fuck my for attraction. Fuck Robert Greene, man. This is some bullshit, man. This is real shit. No, I'm going to die. Like, I, I really thought that. Anyways, so this girl that I was seeing, she actually came over and brought me food and chilled with me for the day. Mind you, I don't. I still don't give a fuck about her. But, but when she did that, I ended up liking her more. That's a fact. Like at least something warm in my heart got sparked. Like I was like, wow. Like I can't believe this girl is here. Is here for me when I really need some support, right? And in those moments, when if you find yourself in those moments, you gotta take advantage of it as soon as possible. So. When you're texting the girl or even when you're saying, talking to a guy, tell him that, or even talking to a girl, to be honest with you, tell him that if you ever need any help, let me know. And just when the opportunity strikes, because it may or may not, but well, it will eventually. When it strikes, you got to be there and perform like you never performed before, right? Because it's in that moment when, they, it, when it solidifies. It's in that moment when they begin to really, really love you. If they resist because they are virtuous or because they are loyal to someone else, all the better. Virtue and repressed desire are easily overcome by action. As the great seductress Natalie Barney once wrote, most virtue is a demand for greater seduction. There are two ways to prove yourself. First, the spontaneous action. A situation arises in which the target needs help. Oh, there you go. I t- think the thing is, is that yo people, you guys don't understand. I read his books, like like front and back, like it, it's it's crazy. So I some sometimes I say I'll talk and give my points, but then when you when you keep reading, you'll notice I already said that, you know, because it's like it's 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 so ingrained in my head. It's crazy. 
A problem spontaneous action. A situation arises in which the target needs help, a problem needs solving, or simply he or she needs a favor. You can't foresee these situations, but you must be ready for them, for they can spring up at any time. And if you fail at it, they, they'll get disappointed. You can't go back up if you fail. If you fail to be there, and if, that, and if somebody ever, if you're looking on the opposite direction, if somebody ever fails to be there for you when you really need them and they fail to be there for you, then that's a then you should definitely give them an F for that. And that should, that should be a warrant to leave them. When you're in crisis and they don't follow through, that's really bad. That could be, for, in fact, that, that's for anybody. Friends, family, everybody. Because it's only when I really need you in the moment that proves to me what it is. She could be at work. They could leave work. You get what I'm trying to say? Put that, don't disregard whenever somebody fails to prove themselves. Don't disregard it. Impress the target by going further than really necessary. Sacrificing more money, more time, more effort than they had expected. Or make, you know, if you didn't, make it look like you actually sacrificed more time, more effort than they expected. <laughs> Your target will often use these moments or even manufacture them as a kind of test. Will you retreat or will you rise to the occasion? You cannot hesitate or flinch even for a moment or all is lost. If necessary, make the deed seem to have cost you more than it has. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I already said that. Never with words, but through your, through your gestures. Directly. Exhausted looks, reports spread through a third party, whatever it takes. The second way to prove yourself is the brave deed that you plan and execute in advance on your own and at the right moment. Okay, so if you're if you consider yourself a nice guy, if you're the type of person that always tries to always gets played by women, is considered like a mama's boy, or you like assertiveness, or you've been bullied when you were a little kid, and so you develop some nice guy's tendencies, then I will check. I will highly recommend you check out my new course, Nice Guy. It's specifically made for just nice people in general. I'm a nice guy. I was a nice guy. I was a Bible teacher, for God's sake. I was a Bible teacher. It doesn't get any more nicer than that. Okay, so in this course, I will teach you about the art of assertiveness. And if you fix, if you just learn to become more assertive in a healthy and non-toxic way, what will happen is that men will respect you and women will bang you for the most part, okay? As long as women respect you and see you as a man, that's all that matters. So this course is more about how to embrace your masculine side. If a guy watches this, he'll embrace his masculine side. If a woman watches this, they'll embrace their feminine. This is a course specifically made to bring out your assertive self in a healthy way. So you're going to learn about the, the source of human aggression. Um, you gotta learn about how to how to assert yourself in terms of um, in, in, in a in a work situation. What to do if somebody disrespects you? Um, how how to take how to know if somebody is disrespecting you or not? Because when you're a nice person, you assume that everybody has good intentions. So you can check out all of this. It's a pretty big course, but the size of the course it doesn't matter. Um, you can check out all of this for just ninety nine dollars. And if you don't like it, just ask for your money back, and I'll send you your money back. No questions asked not one time in my career have i've ever rejected somebody's refund so if you don't like it it's a money back guarantee this is the equivalent of buying a sneaker okay it's a really good investment so i'll see you guys inside it's a 30-day money back guarantee and you will not regret it because after this course you will learn how to become more assertive and women will stop playing you it's plain and simple and that's all that matters i'll see you guys Remember that scene in, um, let me show you that scene in, in this show, um, what you call it? In the movie Hitch. He's, they're pretty much playing into that. I know it's an exaggeration, but this, this exaggeration is, is pretty much what, <laughs> what exemplifies it, right? It's not a bad time for her. Guys, watch. She doesn't need any space. I'm gonna pause it in between a few things so that it doesn't copyright me. And she may be into her career, but what she's really saying is, uh, get away from me now. Or possibly, try harder still. Hey, by the way, I don't think he's that good of a coach, to be honest with you. If anybody asks what I think of Hitch. Stupid. <laughs> but which one is it? 
60% of all human Watch this, right? This will pretty much show you what it is. I gotta pause it, by the way, because, you know, because of the copyright. The communication is nonverbal, body language, and Right? He created a crisis situation so that he could be the hero. Of course she's gonna lie to you. She's a nice person. She doesn't want to hurt your feelings. What else she gonna say? She doesn't even know you yet. Right? And look. So it was orchestrated, and then he gets on the ground for the theatrics. He could have just been standing there, right? He could have just stood there and gotten it, but no, he had to get on the ground. He had to fucking start acting, convulsing and shit. But Luckily, the fact is that just like the rest of us... Tells him to stop politely. Look at that. What a gentleman. Even a beautiful woman doesn't... Oh, oh, oh you're like... She wants until she sees it. And that's where I come. That, that's Union Square, where I used, where I go often. Come in. My job is to open her eyes. Toby! Oh my God! <laughs> and then the funny thing is, the taxi did the beep. I bet he told him to beep. Oh. Oh. Is this what you're looking for? Basic principles. Right. And it, it, it was important that he was on the ground, though, for the theatrics. No matter what, no matter when. Make it look harder than it really is. No matter who, any man has a chance to sweep any woman off her feet. Just needs the right broom. You just need the right situation, also. Prefer that you plex. The second way to prove yourself is the brave deed that you plan and execute in advance on your own and at the right moment. Preferably some way into the seduction. Like what we just saw. When any doubts the victim still has about you are more dangerous than earlier on. Choose a dramatic, difficult action that reveals the painful time and effort involved. Danger can be extremely seductive. Cleverly lead your victim into a crisis, a moment of danger, or in... I mean, the, the, the sleaziest thing I could think of when it comes to creating that is like... You know, you know, let me show you a perfect example of that. Do the chivalry, John. Do the chivalry, John. Man, come on, you know. The chivalry, John, is when he acts super, super um, toxic so that he can come in and be the hero. Why don't you stand up and wrap your arms around a real man? Excuse me, miss. Is this abrasive Negro bothering you? <laughs> so now he's going to act like he's the hero. So what happens is that when somebody is the hero, I don't know if you've ever been rescued, but... If you ever been rescued for something, even you were in a doctor's office, like being a doctor and stuff like that, you sort of, they see pre, they look pretty majestic to me. They look like superheroes, honestly. Like in your mind's eye, when you're being rescued in a situation where you feel like you can't find help and somebody helps you, they look like they have a halo in their heads. I mean, I, mean, I swear to God, they, they, just, they just look like God sent. And you could create that effect by... <laughs> Obviously not going this far, but this is like an example of it, <laughs> right? Play, play up the theatrics, make it look harder than it really was, you know, make it look like you're an emotional man, right? Play the weakness part, <laughs> right? Direct, cleverly lead your victim into a crisis, a moment of danger, or indirectly put them in an uncomfortable position, and you can play the rescuer, the gallant knight. The powerful feelings and emotions this elicits. This, this also is done in politics, where they'll make their political um, followers think there's a crisis. Like, in my opinion, like, like, like BLM saying that, that, that black people are being oppressed. Like, I'm fucking dark skinned. I mean, what the fuck, man? I'm not oppressed. I'm pretty good. Okay. Um, but you could play, they, they do that by playing up on your insecurities and then they create the problem and then once they create the problem they say i'll be the solution for you guys right so they're pretty much creating tr pr problems in your head by by selectively showing you certain videos right though though they erase every video black guy um I'm, I'm, i mean cops don't kill black guy right though though they ignore all the videos where where the cop doesn't kill the black guy, but take the but but the one in a few hundreds or even a few thousand no most likely most likely in a few thousand where a black guy gets killed they post that up right and so you get people emotional you say there's a problem and then you use that as leverage for power and saying vote for me because I'll be the one that fixes this because I understand your perspective right that works in politics 
you know, or or that even works when people are creating cults. You know, they make it seem like there's a doomsday, or even with the Rona, you know, you know, the, the, there's a problem going on. There's a really big problem, you know, one percent. Net less than one percent chance of dying, but there's a really big problem, right? Vote for me, cause I'll save you. Or even get, or even they say, give us the power to shut things down, right? So they use the crisis to gain power. You see what I'm saying? Um, or even you could do that with, which is kind of fucked up, but you know how people get torn down to be built back up. That's pretty much also the same thing in a weird, in a weird way. You you talk you talk them down you talk them down you you destroy their identity, and then you build them up. You play the good and the bad cop, and it's a, it's abuse, um, and so that's why you also got to be careful of people using that on you. Opposites can easily be redirected into love. The rescuer, the gallant knight, the powerful feelings and emotions this elicits can easily be redirected into love. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know if, if you guys like this kind of format, please. Um, I'm, I'm posting this on YouTube the last time because I need to hear your f feedback. Let me know if this is a good format. If not, I'll go back to the other way of doing it.